and they have only akhiyafi only those type of step brothers or sisters who are only from the mother side then for each one of them is only one sixth of the inheritance fa in kanu aksara min zalik fa hum fi shuraka fa hum shuraka if they are so many brothers and sisters then the property will be divided among them this one sixth will be divided in in fisulus one third will be divided between them equally mim baad wasiyat yusa biha then and this will also happen after that wasiya that request has been completed fulfilled or the loan has been given ghaira mubar without harming anyone what can be the the conditions of harming for example somebody has made a bequest for his own son he had crossed the limits of the sharia for those whose share in inheritance is fixed by allah subhanahu wa taala you can't give any wasiya for them la wasiya tale warisin so if somebody has done something wrong well that must be rectified the divine law will be supreme the portions of the inheritors have been fixed by allah subhanahu wa taala the son will get his own share according to the sharia the daughter will get her own share according to the sharia you can't make any wasiya any bequest in favor of the son or the daughter or the father or the mother this this bequest can be for others for some charity works for some other distant relations for some orphans and so on but if the wasiya is for the for the waris then it is not you know obligatory but rather it is false ghair mudar wasiyatan min allah and this is injunction from allah subhanahu wa taala how many times you see this is being repeated so that you must be mindful that you can't make any changes any amendments this is the ordinance from allah subhanahu wa taala wallahu alimul hakim and allah is alim all knowing hakim all wise tilka hududullah and these are the limits placed by allah subhanahu wa taala he is the knower and forbearing he is forbearing he doesn't punish you immediately he gives you time to amend your ways he is halim so he, this is his hilm wallahu alimul halim tilka hududullah these are the limits placed by allah subhanahu wa taala again the emphasis and how lightly we take this matter what percentage of muslims are serious about these matters there were muslims in india and there must be today even in bharat and pakistan both and bangladesh they used to stand up in the british courts and say we don't accept the law of inheritance of islam we want the law of the inheritance of our riwaj what is there you know in our society we want a decision according to riwaj or we want a decision according to the british law we are not ready to accept islamic law and they were muslims they declared it and you know the emphasis here tilka hududullah wa man yuti allah wa rasulahu yudkhilhu jannatin tajri min tahti al anhar these are the limitations which have been prescribed by allah subhanahu wa taala so whosoever obeys allah and his messenger he will make him enter those gardens tajri min tahti al anhar underneath which rivers will be flowing khalidin fiha and they will abide there in forever wazalik al fawzul azim and that is a very great achievement indeed whosoever is made to enter paradise what greater achievement and success can be there wa man yasi allah wa rasulahu and whosoever disobeys allah and his and his messenger wa yata'adda hududahu and he tramples the limits placed by transgresses the limits placed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yudkhilhu nara he will make him to enter the fire khalidan fiha to abide there forever wa lahu azab muhin and there he will have a humiliating chastisement punishment barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati al zikr al hakim